Hey there, welcome to Maternity TV. I'm Tracy Seymour, founder of the world's only complete pregnancy tea program, Maternity. I'm really excited to be filming today because this is actually episode one of a series called My Maternity Journey. This is a very special vlog where I'll actually be documenting and walking you through my very own personal journey to pregnancy and motherhood again. I'm 34 years old and I have a seven year old daughter. 34 to me still seems quite young and useful, um, but however it seems in the world of gynecology, if I fall pregnant soon, by the time I have my bub, I'll actually be termed a uh, geriatric mother. I'm not really sure how I feel about that term just quietly. So it's actually gonna be a long, term, a long time in between bubs for me. So uh, to be completely honest, I'm not sure that I'm completely ready to go back through all of those steps of sleepless nights, toilet training, nappies, and all that fun stuff. But you know, nonetheless, my husband Mark and I are really excited to start trying again and adding to our little family. Throughout the process, I'll obviously be putting my very own maternity pregnancy tea program to work, right the way from preconception fertility cleanse and through to postnatal recovery. So just quickly, a little bit of a background. You already know that I'm 34 years old. My husband, Mark, has just turned 40. Contrary to many people's beliefs, a man's sperm actually does have a life cycle um, and comes with its own biological clock. So sperm can actually be greatly reduced in terms of its count and its quality as he gets a little bit older. So it's just something for us to take, in, take into consideration too. We're both pretty healthy and active people. We go to the gym most, most days, um, but this could be better, truth be told. I tend to get busy with work and make excuses, but overall we're pretty healthy and fit. Neither of us smoke either, which is great. So being on the maternity program means starting at the stage of pregnancy that you're in. So for me, that's obviously the preconception fertility cleanse. And for Mark, it's going to be the Fertility Enhancing Blend Virility, which is this one. But what it also means is that I'm now focused internally on preparing my body for pregnancy. So cleansing it free from any harmful toxins or fertility inhibiting behaviours. I guess the way that I look at pregnancy preparing is that we spend so much time, money and, you know, preparing our homes and nurseries for the arrival of our babies and, you know, scrupulously cleaning and putting safety locks and latches on cupboards, washing every possible surface you know, to ensure that we've got this hygienic and healthy environment for our bubs to live in when they come home. But so often we forget that when we conceive, they're already living and trying to develop in what can be a toxic and harmful environment, which is our bodies. So that's why I feel it's a really, really good start to do the pre-pregnancy cleanse before trying to fall pregnant. You know, the baby's health uh, and future health is laying the foundations while, while growing inside of you and inside your body. So look, here's the top five things that I'm going to be doing to get started on my pre-pregnancy cleanse. Number one is no more alcohol. So this is a big one. I believe that even small amounts of regular alcohol consumption uh, can have a really you know, devastating effect on fetal development in some cases. And personally, I'm happy to ditch the wine for a year or so, and um, you know, all in the aid of a good cause of my, my bub's health. I'm not a big drinker anyway, but I do enjoy a few glasses of wine when I'm out to dinner with the girls, or socializing, out with my husband. I'm as much a girl's girl um, as I am a mum, but you know, this is gonna take priority for me for the next year or so. Number two is gonna be cutting out the coffee. I know many people in the medical profession advise that you can keep your caffeine intake to around that 200 milligrams a day, which is about the size of a large barista style coffee. But personally, and it is a personal choice, no judgment, uh, the effects of caffeine on babies is much the same as it is in adults. It rapidly increases their heart rate, and in an unborn baby's heart, it's not quite developed or strong enough yet to handle that same amount of stimulation. So too much caffeine, and remembering that caffeine isn't just found in coffee, it's in things like chocolates and soft drinks. This has been linked to low birth weights and other developmental issues. So for me, I can't stand the thought of that. Look, I'm a, a certified tea master. I own my own tea company, but I enjoy my morning coffee as much as the next person. So I'm not saying it's gonna be easy, but I'm definitely kicking the coffee uh, for now and gonna to stick to my maternity pregnancy teas. Number three is cleaning up my diet. So I'll be chatting with my team of maternity dietitians, Michelle and Chloe. They're really awesome girls with a really um, you know, great passion for helping people and especially women and women's health. So I'll be getting them to walk me through what we call eating for fertility to ensure that I'm including all of the right foods and eliminating all of the wrong foods to help me not only fall pregnant, but manage my weight throughout pregnancy as well. Number four is my husband is going to be starting on the virility brand. Uh, two to three cups a day of this will be perfect for him uh, you know, to start stimulating his reproductive organs, um, you know, cleansing his body free from any harmful toxins as well, 
he loves this blend anyway. Um, I suppose that comes with me making him try it many times in the development of the blends. Um, and he actually enjoys it chilled, so I'm sure that he's going to be sipping on this, uh, you know, right the way through through the process. Number five is I'm actually going to be meeting with, uh, you know, those routine appointments that you have throughout the year with your GP, uh, gynecologist, dentist, just to make sure that, you know, everything in terms of my health is in order. Because if there's any underlying health issues or procedures that I need to have done, I can actually do them now while it's safe to do so and I don't have to go on any, you know, restrictive medications and there's a lot of procedures that you can't actually have done while you're pregnant. So I'm going to be getting onto that as well. So as you can see here, this is our preconception fertility cleanse. Okay, so it comes in this beautiful box here. You start with fertility. So this is our morning blend. Uh, we basically uh, structure our packs as a morning, noon and night. So it's designed to give your whole body the support throughout the day that it needs to optimize your chances of falling pregnant. So fertility, so this beautiful blend here, this is designed to help stimulate your reproductive organs and gently uh, cleanse your body from any harmful toxins. Throughout the middle of the day, we have our Vitality Blend. This is an awesome blend. I absolutely love it. I drink it all the time. It's a Rubos based blend. So Rubos, Elderberry, Vanilla Bean and Rose Hips. Absolutely delightful. This blend is designed to energize and invigorate your immune system. So your immune system is really important when you're trying to fall pregnant so that your body actually prioritizes a conception rather than trying to fight off stress and disease and sickness and that sort of thing. So Great one to have in the middle of the day is a real afternoon pepper. And it's one that uh, people tend to like to have as an option to get away from coffee because it's all, sort of got that robustness that a, that a coffee does. Of an evening, this is Serenity. And you know what, to be honest, this is our number one seller. Everybody loves this. Mums, dads, kids, nanas, everyone. So this one's been designed specifically to help you relax. It helps to restore your body at the night time, helping you to sleep, you know, relaxing any muscular aches and pains, releasing any nervous tension and anxiety, which is also really important because, you know, the, the stress hormone cortisol, um, it actually has that counteractive um, aspect to it when you're trying to fall pregnant because your body will go into this fight or flight mode. So it will prioritize dealing with that stress and that anxiety before sending out the chemicals to uh, help you to fall pregnant. And as I mentioned, this is our men's uh, fertility blend, which is virility. So, um, look, you know what, he can have two to three cups a day of this. He can enjoy any of these other blends as well, but most men tend to like this one and maybe have this one at a night time. So all of our blends are actually available in loose leaf and in pyramid tea bags. I'm a certified tea master, but I have to tell you, I'm lazy when it comes to tea. I do like, if I've got the time to brew up a beautiful pot, uh, and let it brew and, and enjoy, you know, a numerous amount of cups. But if I'm on the go and I'm busy, I'm hurrying, first thing in the morning, I really just like to be able to pop in my tea bag, make my tea and sort of have it as I'm walking around getting ready and getting my daughter ready for school in the morning. One of my biggest bugbears with, um, with some tea companies out there is the underdosing of their tea. So, you know, industry standard should be two grams per serve. You can see with our blends here, you know, they've just got these amazing, beautiful ingredients. Now, some blends are actually, you know, a little bit more fluffy than others, and that can actually make the tea bags and things seem, you know, a lot more full. What I wanted to make sure is that in every serving of our tea, whether or not it be in your loose leaf or your tea, you have enough there for two grams per serve. So easy enough, obviously, with the tea bags, they're already dosed out at two grams per serve. And with our loose leaf tea, we, we say 35 serves in a tin, which is actually 70 grams um, you know, in the, inside that package. So definitely can you rest assured that you're getting value for your money with maternity products. All organic, um, you know, we've researched quite highly into these, these blends and the benefits for fertility and women's health. So I'm really excited to get started on this journey and you know what, I'm so excited to be doing this vlog because I think it's going to be something, for me personally, it's something amazing to look back on, but also to put my program to the test. I mean, we've done it with other women and I think it's time for me to put my money where my mouth is and, you know, give this a go right the way through from start to finish. So thank you for joining me today on Maternity TV. Um, you can tune in at any time. I'll be putting uh, notices up on our Instagram. Uh, at Maternity and our Facebook page, Maternity Co. Uh, if you'd like to follow along, um, you know, we'll obviously put updates of when we're going to be putting the next vlogs and vlogs up. Uh, next time I'll be meeting with the maternity dietitians. So if you want to get a look at what that looks like, you know, in terms of meeting with those dietitians and, you know, the things that they have to say about, you know, preparing your body for pregnancy and eating the right foods, that'll be the one to tune into. So 
thanks very much again for your time today, guys. Really appreciate having you on board, and I'm really excited. Hopefully, I can be sharing some good news with you soon. Thank you.